break down adhesions and just like any other cyst we would do is we're just trying to get it down to the point where we can see that we're behind it into the hypodermis and then see if we can dissect that back around the other way. This is the area that felt like there's a bilobed compartment to it, so I'm just progressing a bit slowly here to see if I can actually get around that. Bringing us up back down. She's still comfortable? So it seems like a lot of bleeding here is that these are just small capillaries that are rupturing. Just put it underneath it right again. So at this stage, I'm not not trying to rupture the membrane. I'm just, sometimes when it's intact and it's tense, I can actually see behind it a little bit better. I'm just gonna have to remove this in one second, Rana. Right mm -hmm. Let's take that off, right? Pull that back.
there. Looks pretty clean, so we're going to clean this up in one second. I'm just going to put this here. You're okay? Good? So this is the part you could tell from the outside where it looked like it had a secondary lobe, which was here. Now whether this is full of, we'll take a look. Yeah, so it's all cystic. So that whole thing is cystic. So this is why I try to not rupture it, just so you know we know that it's completely removed. So we'll send that off to pathology. Good. So you can see here where tins tissues are thinner. So just above, see the fried the tendons underneath there? That's a just at the back end of the hypodermis. I'm just gonna irrigate this. Now these ones typically when I take out a cyst, especially an uninfected cyst, like a lot of times we don't the actually the majority of times. Oh, here, here, that's the one. Um, we won't use antibiotics, but this one is this close to a joint. Um, I would, just to be careful. Not hurting at all? No. no pain? No. If you finish, you're gonna you feed it. <laughs> not feeding nothing. So again, most of this is just superficial stuff. As I was always telling you before, I don't mind a little bit of oozing. And the advantage we have here with a, something that's on your arm, we can put a compressive stocking or dressing. That should catch these and tamponade them for us anyway. Put pressure on that one, grab sure. So this is where there is some advantage for the redundant skin. Whereas normally, I'd certainly put in some dermal stitches here. Um, I'm gonna elect not to, because I think we'll get away without it anyway. So it appears like a lot of bleeding here. It's all coming from vessels right along the margin of the skin. And that's why I'm just electing to close this. And I should be able to just do a presser dressing and then that will take care of those. She's still comfortable?
so we should be seeing that as I progress along with this that there's less oozing coming out the bottom because we're tamponading these vessels. 